Hello, welcome to today's Logic Pro quick tip. We're going to look at track stacks in Logic. Last week we looked at VCA faders and how we can use those for mixing. Track stacks is just another way of doing things. Some people will prefer one over the other. I just want to give you the option so you know what is out there. If you didn't know, you wouldn't be able to make a choice. Um, don't forget, like and subscribe. Always appreciated if you find this stuff useful. So what is a track stack? Well, let's take, for example, we've got here some violins, some brass and percussion, not violins, strings. If we wanted to group these all together to keep things nice and tidy, what you could do is what I've done there is I've shift clicked so from the top one hold down shift and click the bottom one if they were spread out you could hold down command and click to select them individually i tend to find when i'm laying stuff out that they end up next to each other so shift click is fairly intuitive if i right click on any one of these i can go to create track stack i mean you can memorize the shortcut key shift command d if you like and you get a choice you can either have a folder or a summing stack. Now, folder stack is a bit like a VCA, to be fair, when you create it. So what it's done here is it's created something called sub one. So it's a sub mix. I would then go ahead and call that strings. So what can I do with this? Well, we can either expand to see what's in it. You see a representation of the fact that there are different notes in there. But when you expand it, you only see the tracks. Now, there's no musical notes in here. And with the actual track stack itself, it does have a fader. If I open up automation and change the fader, you will see it does actually affect the volume. And this can be automated. So you could automate the volume of all your strings relative to each other, bear in mind, because if these tracks have volume automation in as well this will change relative to those other ones so nothing's really lost there let's come out of automation so that's a folder stack it's pretty much a i want to group things together and i can move this around quite easily so if I actually wanted to arrange my strings so they're all at the bottom I can do that nice and easily. Um, you could uh, duplicate the entire section in one go just uh, by clicking and dragging. You can move the whole section around by clicking and dragging as well which is pretty useful. So that was folder stacks it's more of an organizational thing but bear in mind it does work as a similar to a VCA fader. The other option, if I select all my brass here, is a summing stack. And this gives you a bit more power. You might not need it. And sometimes it's easier just to go with a folder stack because you're just organizing things. But it is possible you might need a summing stack. Again, you do have the option to control the fader but also notice you can now add audio effects so if i want to add audio effects to all these brass instruments i don't have to go through them individually and add audio effects i can actually add them on the summing stack in the folder stack you don't get that option so again a little bit like a vca because you do have control over the master volume but now we can add audio effects, we can add EQ to the entire thing, we can send it to another effect. So if we had a reverb going on, we could choose to send the entire group there. One final little trick that you might find useful is if I play this, we've got the trumpets playing a tune. Now, Watch what happens if I get rid of these horns and trombone lines. If I move that line up into the summing stack. It actually plays 
all three instruments underneath it. So this could be really cool for setting yourself up your own sort of multi instrument because the other thing you've got to be careful about is if you were doing this like if I play this high C only the trumpets can play that high C in BBC SO everyone can play that C now we're down to horns and trombone and eventually you'll get trombones only so depending on where you are playing make sure you know what you are doing if you are using that feature but generally what you are going to be doing is summing these so that you can apply effects eq and sends to multiple instruments all at once again it does sort of work as a vca but a bit more in depth so there's some more options for you last week we looked at vcas and how you can use those this week track stacks and you can either have a folder stack or a summing stack all really useful like and subscribe always appreciated see you in the next video bye for now